Hi, this is Tony Mike Grevin coming to you from Chicago as usual. And today we've got another Sovereign Citizen traffic stop. It's good stuff. Let's do it. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Trip Bottom the North Carolina State Highway Patrol. Yes, sir. You know I might be stopping right now? Uh, no, sir. You know what the speed limit is on this roadway? Yes, sir. Which would be 55, correct? Yes, sir. You know how fast you're actually going? No, sir. It's 71 miles an hour. Uh, is there any reason for the speed? In the world is in the world. I'm sorry, say it again. Is there any reason for your speed this evening, sir? No, I wasn't aware I was speeding. I'm sorry. Do you have your license your registration on you, please? I do not. I'm sorry? I do not. In the state of North Carolina, uh, I do not need a driver's license to I drive. I'm traveling. I cannot hear the traffic. Sorry. I am. Okay, there's the moment. Uh, you know, before that, he was doing the respectful thing and just accepting whatever the officer was saying to him because he pulled him over for speeding. That was pretty obvious. And yes, there's a there's a dog in the background, and I, I'm worried about the, about the dog already. Traveling, I'm not driving. I'm traveling, sir. Okay. Um, in the state of North Carolina, it is state law if you're on a state maintained roadway that you're required by state law to possess a valid driver's license. And upon legal if request, I was by sworn law enforcement officer, which what if, I am, if I was driving under commerce, I'm not operating okay. under. So, a, 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 a company right. that I'm getting paid for. Right. Paid for. Right. So I'm gonna have you listen to me for a second. Okay? Yes, sir. I've asked you for your license now. Yes, sir. Now I'm telling you to give me your license. Okay. This next step after that will be being forcibly removed from your vehicle. Okay. I know what grounds. Because you are in violation of state law. Okay. You're a state law enforcement officer. I understand. Enforcing state law. I understand. So this can go one of two ways. Okay. You can either provide me with your identification. I don't have it. I can give you my name, but I don't have my, that would be my sufficient. license. Do you have a valid driver's license say, in North Carolina? I do. You do? Do you know that your driver's license number? I don't. Is there any reason why you're not carrying it with you? Uh, I was traveling from point A to point B. I understand that. But again, um, just there's a speed limit. Well, under Black Laws Dictionary, it clearly states I have to have a driver's license if I was working under commerce. Okay. You feel I, I'm not, I'm traveling from point A to point B. I can understand. Uh yeah, we, we've heard you're traveling from point A to point B. Everyone's traveling from point A to point B at all times. <laughs> it doesn't need to be said. And uh, <clears throat> I actually do appreciate you dropping the Black's Law because, because we know it's everything you say after that is complete nonsense. I'm sympathetic towards you with that. However, this would not be the place to argue that, okay? The place That's to fine. argue would be in a courtroom. Okay. okay. So, if you would, I need you to provide me with your full name, your date of birth. Uh, under my Fourth Amendment, right? I would prefer not to uh, give out any information. Okay. If I'm not I've lawfully arrested. That, I, that I've already asked you once. I'm now telling you and I told you what the I mean, did I commit? Were. did I commit a criminal offense? Actually, yes. Did I hurt anybody? Did uh, I injure anybody? You've c committed a com uh, criminal offense, yes. It's actually a misdemeanor state of North Carolina speed that you're traveling at. At 71 so, in, right, a, in a 65? Actually, you're speed alone right now. I can arrest you. In a 65? I mean, uh, I'm sorry, this is 55. Am I right? This is 55? So right now, you're putting me in jeopardy by standing on the shoulder right now on the roadway? I don't really... Okay, you can come on this side. I understand that. You can come on. I wrote a moment now. I come on it. I want you to feel safe. Okay. The longer we stand out here, the longer I stand out here, the mm -hmm. greater risk. I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm just doing everything by the law. I understand that. And the I'm law states by the Black Law Dictionary. Nice, polite, uh, and I appreciate that, possible. and I understand that. But I will, I'm gonna make this enforcement action. Okay. If you don't allow me to do that. You will be placed. I'm not arrest, stopping you from doing anything. I will take you out of this vehicle. I'm not stopping you from doing anything. You got the place. You can write the car ticket. I'm not stopping you from doing anything. I don't, all think I'm doing is quoting the law. So are you going to provide me with the information or not? I just need a yes or no. Before you answer that, I'm going to let you know. If you tell me no, that's fine. You are well within your rights to say no there. But, but there's repercussions will, though, there right? There's so then there's, yeah. I have, I but then I don't have a right. But then my rights are, but then my rights are, are, are taken away. I just want to make sure you're fully aware of the, the, your consequences, your actions, okay? So as long as you're fully aware of that and you make your choice, that's fine, okay? Okay. I, I just want to make sure. Just I just want to do everything by the law. I just by the law, I want to do everything. I, you know, so I don't want to do it because I don't want to. I don't want to 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 
to, to but not North Carolina law. He wants to do it by the power of Grayskull and Black's Law Dictionary. By the power of Grayskull. Agree to having a business with your organization, your co cooperation. I, I don't want business with you. You feel me? I, I'm freely. I'm traveling freely from point A to point well, you B. Have the right to, you actually have the right. I, to I'm not working under. I'm not working under any any employment right now. I'm shocked. Shocked. I understand. You <laughs> have absolutely every single right to travel. Yes, sir. Without a driver's license. Okay. I, so what's the problem? I.e., you can walk. You have absolutely every single right to travel. Yes, sir. Without a driver's license. Okay, I, so what's the problem? I.e., you can walk. No, I'm not going to walk. This is my personal, my personal property right here. Understand. Why would I have to walk? This is a, this for is a, a ticket. Hold on. For a civil ticket. This is a state-maintained highway. Okay, that, that I pay for. That I pay for. Yeah, pay full back tax dollars. Right. 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 So why do I need to walk? Because I, I don't want to present my ID. State law. State law. Do you have a supervisor? Because Do you have a supervisor? The safety of others. Can I speak to your supervisor, please? Maybe he might know what I'm talking about. Right I mean, now, you can write a ticket. Okay. I'm not stopping you, you from saying, doing so your I'm job, sir. Patrolman. I'm yes, the sir. Only power patrolman right now. In there. We got, all right, can you call the sheriff deputy? Supervisor? <laughs> can you call the sheriff deputy? <laughs> They, they really have a fascination. This is part of the lore is that the, the, the sheriff is the ultimate authority. It's complete nonsense. They're just different agencies that cover different things. They, they have their own jurisdiction and what, and what they deal with. Uh, no, he can't call the sheriff. I'm sure he knows some locally or whatever because law enforcement tends to know each other. But, but he has no authority to uh, have a sheriff come out to his traffic stop. They are. I have no. I'm not with the, the sheriff's office. Well, you you need you, you need a supervisor when a taxpaying citizen asking for a supervisor, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna take the, the continued even after I've told you what the consequences of your actions are. I'm gonna take that as your lawfully or unlawfully refusing our. I'm not unlawfully doing anything. I'm doing anything by the book. I'm trying to do anything by the book. Right. Step out. You're under arrest. <laughs> for what? What am I under arrest for? Unlawful order. <laughs> what, which was what? You are under arrest at this point. That is not a lawful order. That's not a lawful order, sir. Okay. Me refusing my name, give you ID, is not a lawful order. Because I just, I just quoted Black Law Dictionary to you. I just quoted Black Law. Did I not? Did I not? I do not need a license to travel from point A to point B, if I'm not working. My patience is wearing I understand that. Can you call your supervisor? I don't need to. You do need to. I asked for a supervisor, sir. You are under arrest at this point in time. For what? I, I love it. He says, I don't need to. And I, I, I wonder why more law enforcement doesn't just say that. He says, I'm the only trooper out here, which would, which would make sense. It's a, it looks like it's a quiet night uh, or whatever. So I, I don't know why they usually do call the supervisor out, but... It, it was just nice to hear that. For your speed of 71 and 55 mile an hour. Right, can, you, can you show me proof of that? Can you show me proof of that? Yes, I can. But you're it, you got it on your radar that I was that I was going 71 miles per hour. Yeah, but you're under arrest at this point, so it's too late. Okay. I gave you the consequence of your actions. You, you made your choice for you. You need to live with that. All right, and if you don't get out of this vehicle. I'm not I, I don't, I'm not gonna, here. I'm not gonna do anything towards you or anything. I'm going to comply to your order sir okay. you know i just want to have a dialogue yeah. that's all i want video? I'm video i know i understand i just want to have a dialogue because what i'm doing i i feel that i'm, I'm certain my rights i understand that and i explained to you that <laughs> i just want to have a dialogue and i feel and don't forget to hit like and subscribe don't make oscar beg it's rude this is not the place to argue the courtroom is the place to but argue. this is the place to argue because you're putting me over you're the one pulling me over. <laughs> and you won't give me a supervisor. All right, so just like before, I gave you consequences of your actions. Right? I'm trying to be as, yes, sir. As and I'm telling you, you can write a ticket. I'm not stopping you from doing your job. I've already told you at this point in time, is we're beyond that. You're under arrest. Oh, oh he's writing a ticket. <laughs> but, but thanks for uh, your unnecessary authority on the topic. 
And I'm asking you, why am I under arrest? I'll explain that to you. Because you cannot, cause, cause me not, say your ID is a secondary crime, sir. I tried to write your citation. You weren't allowing me to do that. Write a citation. Write a citation. I give you my name right now. Write a citation. Cause there's no, I got three dollars inside this car. I, I got, I'm not arrested right now. You are under arrest. Not lawfully, not lawfully, sir. Uh, I like that too. I'm not arrested. It's it, it's my favorite. That might go on the thumbnail. I, I really like. It's one of my favorites. It's just just straight up denial of reality. Yeah, you know the the guy. He said you're arrested. You're, you're arrested. <laughs> As a matter of law, you are arrested. That that that's it. You you just denying it, it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> Can you just call your supervisor? That's all I'm asking. Supervisor, sir. You're about to catch additional charges on top of this. How? I'm not. I'm not. What charges? What resisting? Resisting, resisting means physical. Re resisting means physical. Should I be in compliance? I don't have to be compliant, sir. I don't have to answer your questions. I, I don't have to ask you a question. I don't want. I don't want you to get physical. I don't want you to get physical. I didn't want it to get to this point. I tried to work. With God, I got three dollars in here that might attack you if you get physical. But I can't unarrest you. So, well, then, if you can't unarrest me, call for a supervisor. I'm please. Yes, sir, please. I'm just asking, please, Listen, I'm gonna call for a supervisor. Before. I'm going to give you your options. I'm going to let you make a choice for yourself because you're a grown man. Yes, sir. Okay? Option one yes, sir. would be for you to comply with me, step out of your vehicle, and go with me. So you who you are. Okay? Get your why? Why is this gotta be? Why, why is this gotta be straight to arrest though? Why do I have to be straight to arrest? Option two would be exactly the same thing, except for the fact that force the vehicle one way or another. Okay, but why do why do I have to end to this? Okay, I understand that. I'm not gonna give you that opportunity to satisfy that part for you, sir, because I know that's part of what you want. Because this is escalated so quick to arrest, arrest because I'm stating law to you. I don't have to comply. I don't have to comply. Cause my Fifth Amendment right stands. I can remain silent. I just wanted to quote the law to you. So here's. The, here's the, here's the, I'm about to step out. I'm about to step out. I'm about to step out because I don't want you to be forceful to me, and I'm not doing nothing to you. I want you to step around the front of the vehicle, not between the two. No, I want to step back here in the back where your camera can see. But if you step between the two vehicles and somebody runs in the back of my car, yes, sir. I don't want to see. I don't want between my vehicles. But I want that camera to see everything that you're doing. Because when I step out, I don't want you to be all aggressive. The whole thing. What we're going to do is we're going to go back there. But yes, what sir. I'm saying is when you come out, we're going to run. Okay. And then go back that way? Yes. Okay. All right. Can I cut my car off? Before, yes, you may. Before you step out, you step no, I don't. I don't. Okay. No, sir. All right. Got the keys out. I'm putting the keys on the. Uh... As a matter of fact, can I just take the keys with me? Can I just take the keys with me? You can take the keys. Yeah, but... You have any kind of pocket knives or anything on there? I, I don't, I don't, oh, no, no, no. You can carry your keys with you, all right? You can carry your keys and you can bring your phone with you. All right. I'm getting reaching for my other phone. Nothing else. Hold on, wait. Uh, what's that now? Like I said, just come around the front of the truck. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My phone. Do you have anything on you? I don't. Here? I don't. I'm not going to check the pockets with you. I'm not going to search you. I just want to make I mean, sure I'm already arrested, so I mean, you're going to have to yeah. check me regardless. I can sure I put my cigarettes inside the car? There's nothing in there. That's fine. You can put your cigarettes in there. I'm just and I got a lighter, too. Do you put it there if you want to? Yes, sir. If you want to, you can set your phone on the hood of my car. My camera's right here. You okay. can see it. It's, it's looking right at us. Okay. Why does um every time yes sir? Why do every time citizens assert their rights, they go to jail? Well, again, I'm trying to explain this. Okay, well, we could have we were doing nicely by just talking. I was just wanting to talk. Like this is my first time trying to assert I, I, my rights. And this is something I just learned. So I, I wanted to try to practice my. And that's why I tried. To I don't know if you can hear it, but he says this is the first time I tried to assert my rights. Oh Lord. Means we've got a new convert to to the nonsense. Hopefully, this sets him straight. 
explain to you, I tried to explain to you the consequences of your actions so you understand what they were. And you can make a, a That's why I asked for your supervisor, because I wanted to see what he would say. He would tell you, I, I guarantee you something. No, I want to hear from him, though, grab because phone he might know more than you. You feel me? That's why he's a supervisor. He, he's superior. Is that them over here? Yes, sir. Just step toward, I'm gonna open this door, so yes, step sir. right here. Oh, back. Right. You're gonna sit in the phone. Okay. I'm put your phone up here on the dash. All right, thank you. Well, there you have it. Uh, another sovereign citizen just making their life more difficult than they than they need to. He he did in the end get out. He didn't have to break his window or anything. But if he would have just done all that up front, we he would have been into a negotiation for getting him to reduce the ticket instead of getting arrested and being delayed. I don't I don't I don't know if he'll get taken in. My, my guess is the, the officer will find a way to let him go because of the dog. I, at least I hope so for the dog's sake. And uh, the, the officer seemed uh, incredibly reasonable, but he, he was just not having any of this nonsense. He, he's going to issue his traffic citation, and that's that. Here at Law Talk, we like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court. And every once in a while, and completely by accident, I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching.